Welcome to lesson five and four tenths, adding mixed numbers. So why are we learning how to add mixed numbers? Well, this happens to be another step in becoming a better mathematician, building your fraction knowledge, and realizing that not all problems are going to be just a fraction. Most likely you're gonna have mixed numbers and you're gonna to have to know how to deal with those. So we have three methods that we are going to use to look at how to do this today. The first method is using fraction circles to model. Our second method is combining whole numbers and fractions. And our third method is replacing each mixed number with an equivalent fraction. So let's take a look at how this first method works. As you can see, I have fraction circles to represent the two and three fifths. I have a whole, a whole, and three fifths here. And then our one and one fifth, here is my whole and one fifth here. So basically what you would do in this model is you're going to pull your holes together. So I have one hole plus one hole plus one hole. That equals three. And then we're going to take our fifths and we're going to add those together. So one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth is going to give me four fifths. So the answer to this particular equation would be three and four fifths. So this is using fraction circles to model. So let's take a look at the same equation, but a different method. So this time we're going to combine the whole numbers and then the fractions. So my first whole number is two, and my other whole number is one. So basically I'm gonna do two plus one, which is going to give me three. Then we're gonna take a look at the fractions. We have three fifths and one fifth. So over here, I'm going to take 3 fifths plus 1 fifth. And when we add those together, it equals 4 fifths. So then I take my whole number and my fraction, and I make my mixed number, which gives me my answer of 3 and 4 fifths. So as you can see, we've got the same answer, but just using a different method. So let's look at our third method, which is replace each mixed number with an equivalent fraction. So if you think about the, the mixed number two and three fifths, that would be two wholes of five, right? So two is actually equal to five fifths and five fifths because we have the whole number two. Remember, five-fifths is equal to one whole, and five-fifths is equal to one whole. So that's how I'm getting that. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take our original fractions, and we're going to add those. So we're gonna make this into 10 fifths. So now this two has turned into 10 fifths, and we're gonna add that to our 3 fifths, which was here. We're gonna put that in parentheses, okay? And that gives us 13 fifths. So basically what we're saying is 2 and 3 fifths is equal to 13 fifths. We're now gonna take the mixed number 1 and 1 fifth and we're going to change it. So my whole number one is going to be five fifths, and we're gonna make our parentheses, and then we bring that five fifths back into the equation. And I do my five plus my one, which gives me six fifths. So now we're looking at 13 fifths, replacing my two and three fifths, and we're looking at six fifths, replacing my one and one fifth. And basically what we would do then is take the 13 fifths 
plus 6 fifths, and that would give me 19 fifths. And that is the method replacing the mixed numbers with an equivalent fraction. So basically you're taking that whole number, turning it into a fraction, and adding that to the fraction that you already have with your mixed number. It's kind of a long process, but it takes some practice. And it does make sense once you get the hang of it. I know it looks a little confusing at the moment, but as a lot of math problems do, they take practice. In class, you will work with partners to explore the different methods of adding mixed numbers, and you're going to demonstrate each of those methods and try to determine which one you prefer. We've got this.